Let's try this one for the first problem of the day. Um, so, remember we're on alkenes, so uh, this obviously is going to be a reaction with an alkene, and hopefully you guys can see the alkene right there. So alkenes, remember, are double bonds. This one happens to be a terminal alkene, because this is a CH2. So, you want to think about it. It looks like that. Okay, so um, when we react, uh, recall from last lecture, when we react um, hydrogen with an alkene in the presence of uh, the palladium carbon catalyst, what will happen is we're going to get, um, so you can think of this as like some sort of pseudo mechanism, even though it's not really proven or anything like that. Um, you can think of the hydrogen gas coming down and once it gets in the presence of the palladium on carbon it'll kind of react to form some sort of complex that looks something like that. Uh, this is an idealized form of it of course. And then recall your alkene is going to come down so if you want to think of this like this and react like this giving you the syn addition okay and then of course the catalyst is back unchanged okay so that's like a pseudo mechanism so, you would expect to form uh, the syn product here, the syn hydrogenation product, product, and you do. But in this case, there are going to be two of them. Why? Because we've got this methyl group here pointing up, pointing towards us. So, we can have the hydrogen add from uh, the top side here or from the back side, okay, or the bottom side, whichever way you want to look at it. So let's draw those two isomers. So if it, well, if the hydrogen added from the back side of the board, we would have it like that. If you wanted to, you could think of this one as adding back to. But of course there's no stereochemistry associated with that. And you'd also get the other isomer. It's an ugly cyclopentane. No. Don't draw those. Ugly. Okay. So if this one added from the back, then this one, of course, is going to give you the other diastereomer and add to the front. Gives you a molecule that looks like this. Okay. And then it asks, well, what's, what's the ma major product of this reaction? So which of these two products is going to form in the greater amount or have the greater yield after the reaction is over? Well, remember, steric hindrance. So two things can't occupy the same place at the same time. So since this is pointing up, this methyl group, well, let's look at it on here. Since this methyl group's pointing up, It'd be harder to react from this side. Why? Because you got something that's kind of blocking the reaction from this side. Okay? But on the other side, there's only a little hydrogen. Hydrogen is very tiny compared to the methyl group. So there's something that's um, very less sterically um, hindered that's blocking you. 
Okay, so in other words, it would be easier to add from the back side than from the front side, back face instead of the front face. So since that's the case, hydrogen added from the back on this product, so this one would be formed as the major product and obviously the minor product. We'll do that one. Okay. Questions? Any questions? Nobody wants to talk?